It was a cool night. You and Todoroki had gone out to an expensive restaurant to eat dinner and were making your way back home. You were talking about your plans for tomorrow when you saw a group of drunk-looking men walking your way. Todoroki had also seen them and had put his right arm protectively around your waist. As the men got closer and noticed you, they started whistling and looking at you with hungry eyes. Feeling uncomfortable, you leaned into Todoroki's side and prompted him to start walking faster. He held you tight and turned to glare at the men. That was enough to keep them quiet for a while. They passed you and one of them reached out to you. Todoroki quickly pulled you aside and faced the men. They were laughing and staring at you too, but they hadn't continued walking. Sensing the tension in the air, you tugged at Todoroki's shirt and said, Let's just get out of here. He looked at you with a concerned face and was about to leave when one of the men made an extremely lewd comment. With that, he pulled you closer and activated the fire of his left side, making sure not to hurt you in the process. Needless to say, the men were terrified and quickly ran away. Traveler, are you okay? He asked in a sweet but worried voice. Thanks, Todoroki. Don't worry, I'm fine. You answered with a small smile. Although I can't say the same about your shirt. The weather was nice, so you and Midoriya decided on a sightseeing date. Pretty soon, the two of you wound up walking around an empty part of town. Midoriya kept telling you he had a bad feeling about this place, but you brushed it off as part of his normal paranoia. What you two didn't notice was this strange man following you at a distance. He started walking faster and called out to you a few times, making indecent comments. You started panicking slightly, which in turn caused Midoriya to panic as well. All the while, the man kept coming closer and closer. Suddenly, something overcame Midoriya. His face became serious and he looked at you with tense eyes. Traveler, follow me. He tightened his grasp on your hand and quickened his pace. He made a sharp turn into an alley Another turn upon leaving, crossed the road, and continued making these random twists and turns. He turned into some sort of master navigator, weaving his way through sidewalks, back streets, and alleys. You turned around and saw that the creepy man wasn't there anymore. Midoriya? He's gone. Midoriya slowed down a bit. Okay, but let's just keep going for now to put some distance from him. You nodded in reply and continued to follow him as he made his way to an open, crowded square. <sighs> Thanks, Midoriya. You said, a little out of breath from all the fast walking you endured. <laughs> no problem. <sighs> he answered sheepishly. You're okay, and that's what matters. You were in the mood for some exercise and it just happened to be a cloudy afternoon. So you invited Ida to go out for some jogging. Before you guys knew it though, it had already turned dark. Ida said it would be best to call it a day and go home. You agreed and started walking. On the way, a small group of intoxicated looking men crossed your path. They passed and, seeming to take notice of you, let out some low whistles and small comments. Ida sensed your growing discomfort and turned to face the men. Excuse me, but this sort of behavior is very rude and disrespectful. You were speechless. Was he actually confronting them? 
like that? As you can see, it is making them uncomfortable, so I ask that you please stop. It seemed they were also as speechless. And what if we don't? One of them asked daringly as he took a step closer to you. The others picked up on his courage and started moving in on you as well. <sighs> then you leave me with no choice. He quickly turned around, picked you up, and sped away. Once you reached a safe distance, he put you down carefully before making sure you were okay. Thanks, Ida, you softly said, for helping me back there. Oh, well, you're welcome, Traveler, he replied with a small smile. Now, our only problem will be finding our way back home. You were supposed to meet Kirishima outside a cafe the two of you frequented. You left home a bit late, so you had decided to take a shortcut through the back streets. However, as you neared the cafe, you sensed a person following you. You turned and he let out a low whistle. Feeling scared, you pulled out your phone and walked faster. This prompted the man to start calling out to you and make suggestive comments. Worry started to flood you. You shakily dialed Kirishima's number and held the phone to your ears silently, pleading for him to answer. Hey, Traveler! Are you almost here? I'm being followed! You quickly interrupted, trying not to sound too panicked. I left a bit late, so I decided to take the shortcut route and, uh... Please come help. Okay. Calm down. Tell me exactly where you are. You told him and looked back to see that the man was still there calling out to you. Please hurry. And please don't hang up. You softly begged. I'm almost there. You looked up and saw a familiar head of red hair coming around the corner. His eyes were full of relief upon seeing you safe. He hurriedly made his way to your side and put an arm around you. You two were about to walk back to the cafe when Kirishima suddenly turned to the man following you. He hardened his arms and glared at him. Get lost. The man took one look at Kirishima and quietly turned to walk the other way. Once he was out of sight, Kirishima pulled you into a hug. <sighs> Don't ever go taking dangerous shortcuts again, okay? You smiled and nodded. Okay. And Kiri? Thank you for coming.